What up, YouTube? Team Movies here. It's Thursday, and I'm going to talk about the new movies opening this week. Alright, there's some pretty bigger stuff, like, more stuff out uh, open this week. Like, recently there, there's been, there's been like, uh, mainly um, just two and just one film uh, opening a week. This time around, like, this week we got literally not one, but three wide-release films opening this week. And one of which is Gemini Man. Now, they've been, now this movie has been the pipeline for, like, years, like, since the 90s, and now we got Ang Lee directing it, Will Smith is in this, I mean, Will Smith is playing not one, but two parts here, hey, who doesn't love uh, Will Smith, like, big, big Willie's back, you know, great, like, cool, uh, year for him, you know, with Aladdin, uh, with Gemini Man, he's got, uh, he also has Bad Boys for Life coming out in January, uh, Will Smith, he's still the Fresh Prince, you know, he, he's the man, so, I'm actually really looking forward to see Gemini Man, I mean, I'll, the reviews, uh, not the best, but hopefully I'll end up enjoying it, so, alright, now, also, also at this week, there is the Adams Family, now, the Adams Family, you know, I've always, I've had, Obviously, the original Adams Family uh, anime, like live action stuff was way ahead of my time. But I actually rewatched uh, the Adams Family like when they were on like me TV, like me TV and all. The original is pretty good, but my favorite incarnation of the Adams Family is a live action one. You know, with uh, Raya, uh, Julia, uh, Angelica Houston. I mean, who doesn't love Adams Family and Adams Family values? There, there's some good ones. And so now. So now we got an animated Ass Family movie with uh, the voice talent that includes the likes of uh, Charlize Theron, uh, Oscar Isaac, uh, Chloe Moretz, Nick Crow. I mean, you, you've got Snoop Dogg voicing uh, Cousin Ed. What more can you ask for? I think I think the animation looks. I, I think the animation looks really good. It looks uh, funny. It looks entertaining. I'm kind of really looking forward to seeing the Ass Family. All right. Also at this week, there's a film called Jexy, which stars uh, Adam Devine. Now, Jexy is a weird premise for a film. You know, it's where uh, Adam Devine plays like this, uh, you know, plays this like a young man who uh, has like very dependency uh, issues, and he's like very addicted to his phone. So like when this uh, new um exit, like when this new latest mod uh of his of the uh, phone comes out. Uh, he ends up, um, it ends up becoming uh, this mod named uh, Jexy, who ends up becoming, like, very obsessive over, uh, Adam Devine's character, Phil, so she pretty, she pretty much wants, uh, Phil to, like, or to herself and all, and you also, you got Rose Byrne, um, she's the voice of, uh, of Jax, of the phone, you also got uh, Alexandra Shipp, I mean, I think she's awesome, uh, Michael Pena's in this, films directed by the same people who gave us the Bad Moms films. Yeah, I think this looks really uh, awesome. So, cannot wait to see Jexy. Alright. Now, there are a few small fairs coming out this week as well. Uh, one of which is High Strong uh, Free Dance, which is about this uh, young uh, choreographer named Xander uh, Reigns, played by Thomas uh, Dorothy, who ends up giving the break of a uh, lifetime to, uh, to uh, Chu Hofa Aris when he ends up casting this. Uh, Canterbury uh, dancer named Barlow and a uh, international uh, pianist uh, named Charlie, played by Harry uh, Jarvis. And, uh, you know, you also got uh, Charlie who ends up falling for this uh, other dancer, played by uh, Juliet uh, Dorothy, so there's that too. Now, this is a sequel to uh, 2016's High Strong, which I think I've, I've probably seen that one time. It's okay, you know, I do love me a good dancing uh, film and. <laughs> This looks like it could be something pretty, uh, interesting to watch. I mean, I don't know any of the actors of all, but... Alright. Now, also at this week, there's a horror film called Polaroid. Now, this film has kind of been in the pipeline for years. Like, the film was supposed to come out in 2017, but it's, it was supposed to be released by uh, the Weinstein Company, but then the uh, Weinstein Company, uh, the scandal fell true, and, uh, the company ended up getting bankrupt, so this was one of the films on um, that was part of uh, Weinstein's uh, past recent films. And Palroy was is also directed by Lars uh, Kleberg, who also just directed the, re the recent remake of Child's Play. So there's that. 
I mean, this is pretty much about a killer Polaroid camera. Like, they got a horror movie about a killer camera now. What more can you ask for there? And you also got uh, the girl who plays uh, Cheryl Blossom on uh, Riverdale. She's in this. Now, I saw the trailer, and it looks really creepy. I mean, I haven't seen the film itself, but I kind of want to check it out. I mean, I don't know if it'll... I really don't know um, if it'll be any good or not, but... From what, I, from what I heard, it's literally supposed to be like, uh... The Ring meets Find Destination, so... But, uh, who uses Palroy cameras? Like, why would you even use a Pal... Uh, like, that camera? Like, just use a phone, and that's it. I mean, come on. Alright. Also, at this week, there's a film called uh, *Parasite*, which is, uh, which is directed by uh, Jun Jun Ho Bong. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly, but he's directed some pretty good stuff. He's he directed that Netflix film uh, *Okja*. He directed uh, *The Host*, and he did *Snowpiercer*. So he's done some interesting stuff. And this film is literally getting loads, and I mean loads of Oscar buzz. I mean, they were even saying that uh, Bond could probably actually win his first Oscar for this. And it, like, from what I heard, it also has a 100% Rotten Tomato, so it's doing great with critics, audiences. Lots of people are eating this film up, so I'll probably give this one a shot when it opens. Alright, also at this week, there's some horror film called uh, The Dead Center, which uh, stars um, Shane uh, Kura, who uh, plays this, like, uh, psycho psychologist named Dana uh, Forrester. Who is who ends up being joined uh, to help a mysterious patient who uh, is brought to the uh, emergency uh, psych ward in a uh, catatonic uh, state with like no memory of how he uh, reaches the hospital and all. And so, there's a, so uh, as she, as if to uh, exercise his own demons, the doctor uh, ends up trying to break through uh, his mysterious patient and all. I mean, I saw the shelf for this. It looks pretty creepy. I mean, you know. This looks like something that I'll probably check out. Alright. Also, at this week, there's a film called uh, German Youth, which I don't know much about. Uh, there's a horror film called Mary, which, by the way, has a 0% on Ryan Tomatoes and stars Gary Oldman. I mean, Gary Oldman won his, won, finally won an Oscar for uh, playing um, for uh, Darkest Tower. And now he's doing some bland films like. Like Mary, like Hunter Killer. I just saw the trailer for his new movie called uh, The Courier. That looks pretty horrible. I mean, Gary Oma, come on, man. You you literally just won your Oscar uh, for The Darkest Hour. Why? Like, I don't know why he's doing these uh these very bland uh, films now. Now I haven't seen the larger map, but e I even heard people are not liking that either. But uh, anyway, yeah. I mean, this is like. This looks like a pretty uh, horrible uh, horror film, and it, like they had zero percent raw tomatoes, so yeah. Uh, there's also some film out this week called Downing Thomas. I don't know much about that. Uh, there's a film called The Sky in Pink, which stars uh, Priyanka Chopra Jonas, who's of course married to Nick Jonas. So yeah. Uh, there's a horror film called Along Came the Devil Too. Now here's what this is about. After receiving a Boy, a unsettling voicemail. Jordan, played by Laura Slade Wiggins, who's of course best known for uh, playing Karen Jackson on Shameless, returns home looking for answers, only to find her estranged father and even more uh, questions. A demonic uh, force has attached itself to the town, and no one is safe. The only one who seems to know anything is the small town's uh, reverend. And it also starts uh, Bruce Davison. Uh, this looks pretty. Interesting. Now, granted, I never really seen the first Along Came the Devil, so I can't really come on the first film. But hey, it has uh, Karen Jackson from Shameless in it. I'll probably give it a shot because she's in it. And so, hey, ain't, like, anything that involves the devil, I'll also give it a shot. I mean, who, who doesn't love anything a devil related? Alright, also at this week, there's a film called uh, Lucky Day, which is directed by Pulp, by Pulp Fiction writer uh, Roger uh, L. Uh, Avery. And here and it stars uh, the likes of Chris Ben Glover, uh, Nina Dobrev, uh, Luke Bracey. And it's where this uh, safe cracker named Red who uh, who ends up finally being uh, released from uh, prison and he ends up being uh, rejoining uh, with his wife played by Dobrev and uh, Doris who vowed to uh, go straight. But when this like but when this uh, psych psychotic uh, French hitman played by uh, 
played by Chris Ben Glover, has uh pretty much has uh also come to town seeking revenge against Red for the death of uh of his like brother. Um, yeah, he decides to uh you know pretty much take like it's pretty much a villain taking revenge on uh like our hero here. Now this like I saw the trail for this. This movie looks insane. Looks very uh Quentin Tarantino ish. I I think this looks really cool. And Chris Ben Glover doing a French accent. Why not? Who does love Chris Ben Glover? I mean, come on. Back to the Future. Uh, Chris Ben Glover is the man. So, anything with Chris Ben Glover is in it, I'll give it a shot. Alright. Also, at this week, there's some uh, documentary called uh, Fantastic uh, Fungi, which I don't know much about. Uh, there's some anime film called Mosley, which uh, features the voice of Lucy Lawless, aka uh, Xena Warrior Princess. Bring back Xena, people. Anyway. There's uh, some film called Mr. America with uh, Tim uh, Hedacker, who you might know from uh, Tim and Eric fame. Uh, there's some, uh, there's some like a horror film called A Hundred Acres of Hell, which I don't know much about either. Uh, there's also a few like uh, shows coming. Uh, now, there are some like uh, films coming to uh, streaming as well, like coming to Hulu and select theaters. By the way, is uh, Low Monsters. Which is stars uh, Lupita Nyong'o. It stars uh, Josh Gad. You know, it's where uh, this like um, teacher played by uh, Nyong'o goes to like on a field trip with uh, with her classmates and uh, you know with few like with a, a fellow teacher and all. And during the trip, they end up account like they end up encountering zombies. And this looks like one of the most messed up films. Just like you'll see, this literally looks nuts. It looks crazy. And I'm, I'm kind of intrigued by it. And it premiered at uh, Sundance with great reviews. So, yeah, lots of people are loving this film. So, hey. And Little Monsters is not a remake of the Fred Savage and Howie Mandel film, by the way. So, yeah. But, hey, I do love me a good, like, I do love me a good zombie film. And this literally looks like Kindergarten Cut meets Shaun of the Dead. So, get those genres, like, those things uh, mix up, sign me up. Alright, now coming to Netflix this week, there's a thriller, like a horror film called Fractured, uh, which stars Sam uh, Warrington as this, uh, as this guy named uh, Ray uh, Monroe, uh, who's like this uh, family man who like pulls into a uh, rest area with, uh, with his wife Joanne, played by uh, Lily Rapp, and uh, their daughter, played by Lucy uh, Caffrey, and the trip ends up taking a turn for uh, the worst. Uh, when, um, when the little girl, uh, Perry ends up being hurt, uh, in an accident, and the family ends up rushing, uh, to a, uh, emergency room, um, run by, like, a staff of, uh, attentions, and so, like, at, and so, like, after being, uh, sent away from, like, for further testing, Perry and Joni ends up vanishing, and all the records of their, uh, visit ends up disappearing, and so, like, Ray ends up, uh, conter- is concerned, um, into, like, a, uh, desperate, uh, race to find, uh, his family and discover the truth of, like, what really happened to them. Now, you know, this probably, this could easily be another Netflix dumpster fire, but I think that this looks pretty creepy, you know, although it does star Sam Warrington, and I'm sorry to say, Sam, when I see Sam Warrington leading a film that isn't named Avatar, I'm getting a little cautious, because Sam Warrington... Uh, it's been a while since he's led something good. Like, if it does have the word Avatar in the title, he's been in some not-so-good stuff. Like, uh, that, uh, Mr. Heineken movie he was in, uh, let's see. He was in Hacksaw Ridge, but he didn't leave that one. Uh, the Clash of Titan movies are not all that good, so... Yeah. Sam Warrington really needs a new agent, so I'm not really all that excited for this movie, because... Because Warrington name alone, but... All right. Also, for all my Breaking Bad fans, coming to Netflix this week is El Camino, A Breaking Bad Story, which the title, by the way, A Breaking Bad Story is... That's a weird title, but whatever. Anyway, now, I'm I'm not really the world's biggest Breaking Bad fan. But, like, I know lots of people love the, sh- loves the show. But I've, I've seen episodes here and there. It's, it's an okay show, but... But, I mean, uh, Aaron, pa- you got Aaron Paul back as, uh, Jesse Pinkman. I believe Brian Cranston might be returning as well. I'm, I didn't really see his, I didn't really see his, like, name, uh, in the credits, so. 
So I'm not 100% sure if, uh, if Brian Crass is still returning as Walter White, but hey, maybe in the sequel or not. But uh, but I saw the trail for this, and Al Camino looks pretty decent. And you got like uh, Aaron, like Aaron Paul, you know, Aaron Paul's the man, so. That probably good uh, El Camino shot. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me leave it to you guys. Uh, which of these are you uh, interested in uh, watching? Are you interested in Gemini Man, Adam's Family, uh, Jexy? Are you interested in the uh, Breaking Bad story? I mean, I know lots of people um, who watch this video are most likely Breaking Bad fans, so. Anyway, uh, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This year's C Movie Sign Off.